if we keep doing this and, and having these kind of seasons going forward, uh, we're really exposing ourselves to the dangers uh, from wildfire smoke and just wildfire, of course, affecting our communities. With new wildfires burning on the east and west coasts, 2025 is now Canada's second worst wildfire season on record. The worst, 2023, and in third place, 2024. Experts say Canada's on a worrying trend, one that was entirely foreseeable. We haven't made a lot of changes as a society or globally to really reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. The Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Centre says there are 719 active fires as of Tuesday afternoon, with two more sparking up in the time it took for the reporter to write this script. University of Waterloo climate expert Annabella Bonada notes it's largely up to the provinces to fight the fires, but there are talks about getting the federal government more involved. The federal government can only really provide funding for provinces at this point since provinces are the managers uh, of forests. In that capacity, the federal government today announced $45.7 million in funding for 30 projects aimed at improving wildfire knowledge. I think with this particular announcement, what you're seeing is that we're investing in the capacity building, uh, particularly with Indigenous communities, to uh, who are the most affected by wildfires, to, uh, to use the knowledge that's historically existed within Indigenous, within indigenous communities uh, in order to resist wildfires and in order to be able to see them coming and in order to, uh, to make sure that we're doing what we can to mitigate against them. The funding is not limited to projects relating to Indigenous knowledge. It also includes cash for provinces and universities to build knowledge bases on how wildfires have been handled historically. Inherently that means uh, there's going to be a bit of a ramp up as we expand the amount we know uh, and the amount we're able to do. So uh, it'll, there will be some short term benefits, but it will be really longer term that you'll see the most significant benefits. Meanwhile, civil disobedience group Last Generation Canada, who previously called for a national firefighting service, are now expanding their demands, saying a bigger agency is needed to deal with increasing floods, fires and heat waves. This is just the beginning of what's about to get significantly worse and that our last chance at survival is truly engaging in resistance and demanding that our government implement a climate disaster protection agency. This is not the time where we can just continue to accept the status quo. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.